Welcome back to Thrice IND. Last Monday we were working on these wheels. There's only one, but I, this is probably just going to be a quick video just to follow up what we were doing. I'm getting kind of bored and ready to do some stuff, so I'm going to cut this car's roof off. I made this, which is going to bolt into there and then I can use this jack to try to kind of push this little bend out. I don't know if you can... Let's move the light. So uh, I've kind of done a lot of, thing, a lot of little things in the last couple days that I haven't really uh, videoed. Uh, one of the things is I drain the fuel tank um, so there's no fuel in there now. I do need to go underneath the car. I can't remember actually. I think it's this side. Um, but I need to, there's fuel lines up in here and also the fuel filter. I need to disconnect that and drain whatever is left in the fuel lines because there should probably be a little bit left lingering. Trying to make there, there you can kind of see the bend there. For some reason I only brought home my least bent two wheels. The other two actually look a lot worse. <laughs> so sadly that's what I have, but I need to get this done, so. Other than that, I will be taking this trunk out as you all also, as you can see, I've come a little bit slowly getting this cleaned up. It's getting to be better and better. Put up that um, cabinet. I want to get a couple more of those and then maybe one of those tall ones. And that'll keep cleaning up this thing getting better and better. That's what we're going to have to watch. And I am, I'll say, the one thing is, one reason I'm doing this with these wheels is because they are two-piece, kind of three-piece. I mean, they're welded together, but you can split them apart, and if I really do fail, I can always replace the inner barrel, so it's not the end of the world if there's a problem. So that's the reason I'm doing this with these wheels. And on that note, let's get started. Another big thing is, I have this huge uh, ALH in here, ALH engine, it's the TDI engine, they're really heavy, so as soon as I cut the roof off, this whole car could just taco in half. For what I want with the car, it's actually probably not that big a deal. I'm in a, a garage now that's a little bit narrower, so getting things in and out is going to be a pain, especially because I don't know how I'm going to put something here, and then I have to wheel it away. Anyway, so I'm going to figure that out, I might just try to inch the whole engine more forward. So that I plan to cut it probably up here somewhere. That way I know I have room to make a mistake. Um, anyway, let's get to this. Okay, so it wasn't the best thing in the world. <laughs> Didn't go super well. I had to put this, I don't even know, piece of metal on it just so it, uh, on the jack, just so it wouldn't dig in too much to the wheel. And it's still dug in a little bit, but it's not too bad. It's on the inside. I don't know if you can see, but it's a little straighter. Still has a slight bend in it, but it's not too bad. Sorry, there's one more thing I just wanted to mention about this car um, before I cut it off. There is a few spots where I've cut the door out because I had planned on doing this a long time ago, just haven't gotten to it. 
This car was actually perfectly good before I started tearing it apart. I was running, I was driving and running, and it was perfectly fine. There was nothing wrong with it. I bought this thing for super cheap off uh, my brother when the turbo blew, and I bought it basically for free for the price of a Coke. I gave him the price of a Coke. I'm pretty sure I paid him that Coke. You can ask him. Um, and then I just bought the turbo and stuff, repaired it, drove that around, and I was gonna take this apart and do something with it. And that's changed a few times since I've had this car. I've had a full interior. I basically tore this whole thing down. I've torn out the dash. I've gotten rid of this, I've gotten rid of that. Um, and now I'm gonna cut it in half. So this is a perfectly working, functional car. And I'm about to ruin it. VR6 swapped. I know what I have. Selling this now for 10 grand. Race car, right? Has a, a hard top for it in case it becomes winter because we do live in Calgary. Um, yeah, I'm keeping all these little things because the thing I have planned I might need some uh, extra of these. So next step is to cut the floor, and I actually think I'm just going to cut along uh, that little ridge right there, right behind the shifter, and then just on the other side. So that uh, giant engine is definitely going to be in the way. I might try to just finagle it up onto the rear seat deck over there. So that's what's next. Oh yeah, and also I cut myself. I was wearing gloves. I don't even know how I did that. Must have been before I put the gloves on. Luckily it's nothing big, so whatever. I feel pretty good though. I mean, it didn't take me too long to cut the roof off. Yeah, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to the videos if you want to see what I'm actually going to do with this beautiful convertible that's not actually going to be a car anymore. Um, I got basically plans for the engine. I got plans for the suspension. I got plans for the rear end. So many plans here. Hopefully I actually get to them. I mean, I have plans for the roof, believe it or not. That's not just going to go to scrap. I actually have a plan for that. So we'll see how it all goes. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe. Follow the channel. Like I said, more to come. Goodbye.